long as you're doing, your body's moving. Which is all exercise, like. You gotta burn it off. Yeah, yeah. You know, and when you're when you're hungry, your body's doing great things for you. Yeah, yeah. But you're um up until my mid twenties, um I didn't eat vegetables until I started to grow them. All oh, right, right. And I didn't eat eggs till I got hens. And um one day I was at Mary or whatever, I started to go. We're only going out, I'd say a while, and she goes, um, oh, do you want such stuff? So I was like, no. She goes, but you do eat. And I was like, oh yeah, I eat me own. She's like, oh, you're a vegetable snob. Because <laughs> I like I'd always eat the stuff I grow myself, even if I didn't like it, I'd eat it anyway. Just like we um, yeah, yeah, no, just because uh, I know it's good for you when you when you grow it yourself. Oh, 100%. you know what's on it. Yeah. So like I grow beetroot, right? And like I don't know anyone that actually likes the taste of beetroot. Maybe I do. don't mind beetroot. Yeah, well, I hate beetroot, right? But within no. reason, you know what I mean. Yeah, but the way we eat beetroot now is um, um, you might eat twice a week, but you'd have it with curry sauce. So like you'd have chips, beetroot, and sausages. Yeah. Now you have one healthy thing there. Like chips healthy. obviously not good for you, sausage not good for you. There's but, nothing good for you, Brian. Yeah, well, do you know Absolutely what? nothing's good yeah. for you. You're not here to be good. You're yeah, here to yeah. fucking you wanna you wanna drive into that grave, handbrake turn, <laughs> <laughs> flip a few times, yeah, yeah. and then <sighs> well, uh, done. But yeah, like I can't stop gaining weight now. I couldn't gain weight for about thirty years and all of a sudden I'm actually able to gain weight or whatever yeah. like that. I'd rather not because I was I was uh, training for a marathon a few years ago and I went down from sixty five to sixty kilos. And I found it a lot easier. Now I'm 73 kilos and I'm going back into the marathon training. So I'm kind of maybe 12 or 13. But sometimes you need to do this. The body, I mean, there's anyone who, any professional athlete will tell you, yeah. say 12 months of the year, okay? Yeah, yeah. At least three of those months you want to be getting jelly babies. Yeah, yeah. You want to be a pure jelly baby. But just in terms of the actual physical weight, you can carry an extra maybe 12 kilos. Now, if I said to you, right, go for a walk now, but you put 12 kilos of weight on your back. Yeah, I'd go for a walk, off, right. <laughs> and then come back and leave off the twelve kilos and go for a walk and see how easy. Oh can. yeah. So you're kind of, but I find it's impossible to lose weight, no matter how much I run or train. I don't have. Or I never well. had any issues with because I never really gave a fuck either. To be yeah. honest with you, I mean, I just do what I do. If I, all right, if I was there on a Sunday now after a big dinner and I was walking down the hall or whatever, and I'd think, "Geez, a bit of a pouch there." Yeah, yeah. My, I can hear my mother in my head. Like, yeah, yeah. You, know, you gotta look your best. Mm -hmm. You know, give flash. I swear she was Italian. Yeah. The yeah. way she'd be just.